In A New Hope, C-3PO and R2-D2 aren't allowed into the Moss Eisley Cantina. Over the years, a handful of reasons have been provided for the prejudices against droids, and today I'll go over them. One of the earliest explanations I can recall hearing is the simple fact that droids aren't paying customers. They don't eat or drink, so they just take up space in a bar, space that actual patrons could be occupying. As the prequel trilogy was released and we learned more about galactic history, we were provided with more reasons why people might not be so keen to hang out with droids of any kind. The Separatist army was, of course, made up of battle droids. Galactic citizens were suspicious of droids, especially in the Outer Rim and other locations where they were less common. The Core Worlds were more reliant on technology and droids for their everyday life, but on some remote planets, the only interactions some people had with droids were when Separatist forces attacked their homes. The Empire was able to push an anti-non-human agenda across the galaxy for similar reasons. Many Separatist planets were inhabited by non-humans, who felt they were treated unfairly by the Senate, and so when the Clone Wars were over, Imperials were able to easily push a human superiority agenda built off the fear and distrust many Core Worlds had developed for aliens. Aliens. But back to the cantina, we have one final, more personal reason droids weren't welcome in that bar specifically. Wu Her, the bartender, had the droid detector installed in the cantina. It was a Fabrotech EPT-212 that scanned for frequencies specific to droid wireless systems and power cell oscillations. That's not important, it's just some trivia for you. Wu Her witnessed the murder of his parents at the hands of battle droids during the Clone Wars, and he would have died too had a Jedi not intervened. The very sight of any kind of droid caused him anxiety, and so none were welcome in the cantina where he worked. And there you have it, three reasons 3PO and R2 were not allowed to enter the cantina in A New Hope. If you have any questions like this you'd like to have answered, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.